Okay, hello, hi, this is Ryan Ahmed with you, and this is the second video on the ILO uh, configuration and scripting uh, for the HPE servers. Okay, uh, now uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how can we access this interface of the ILO, which of course we told you that the ILO is a way to uh, monitor and uh, like uh, do some kind of uh, like. Uh, uh, what to boot, what uh, uh, monitor the power, the, the temperature, everything about the server, okay? Now, uh, this uh, lesson, we're going to show you how to access the same interface, but from a secure shell, from SSH, from a terminal, okay? So, um, but of course, I'm not going to talk about uh, port forwarding and stuff like that, okay? This is if you want to, uh, you do it, okay? If you want to port forward your ILO, it's up to you, okay? Uh, but I don't recommend it. Don't open your server uh, to hell, as far as I, <laughs> you know. So, don't open it to the, to the world. So, um, first of all, let's say I've, uh, I've logged in like this. I start like this. And I put my password. And then, uh, the same password that you use now, for just for now, before we set something for the... Okay, so what you can do is... Like SSH, okay, administrator. at the IP of the uh, ILO. Okay, it will ask you for the password. Same password that you logged in with the web interface. Okay, and that's it. And for example, this, uh, those are the uh, uh, commands that you can use. Now, before anything, please, please, it's very important that you have to get this PDF it's a reference for the commands. You have to read it, read it so many times to, so you can understand how to use ILO from command line. Okay. Now, regarding if you want to do some scripting inside this interface, current SSH interface, what they, which HP calls it, or HPE, HP Enterprise, uh, calls it, um, or Hewlett Packard the Enterprise anyway, uh, which they call it uh, smash uh, CLI, smash uh, command line interface, okay? Uh, uh, you can't do any kind of the normal shell scripting that you used to do, okay? Uh, just to have, you can only uh, like send normal commands, okay? Now, you must understand one thing, if you want to do the normal scripting, like in the programming sense, development sense, you know, you will have to use a section from the uh, from the uh, from the book by using the command called LOCFG. Okay, it's a script. We're gonna show you later in different in other videos, but just as an introduction. And you will have to learn to use uh, Perl. Okay, Perl scripting plus uh, here you'll have to use something here in the book like called uh, RIBCL uh, XML scripting. So this is the scripting language from RCBL uh, RIBCL uh, XML file. It contains the same commands that they're gonna use in the smash, okay? And with the, uh, uh, with the script uh, LOCFG, uh, uh, we run those scripts and send them to the ILO and then we can uh, like manage as much as we want or as many as we want from uh, the servers at once, okay? And even we can, uh, we're going to, we can boot as many as we want. Now, for now, in this video, uh, all we're gonna do is just, uh, uh, like, uh, change the method of login without a password. We're gonna send, put a public key inside the uh, server, as a such public key, so we can log in without the need to uh, set a password. And this is very important, because if we're gonna reboot, uh, if you use the commands of rebooting from ILO, it will be uh, dangerous because uh, the reboot command from the uh, ILO means that you have physically put your finger on the power button, okay, and shut it down, okay, or you press the reset reboot button from the physical one inside or that's uh, in the uh, on the machine, I mean, 
Okay, you know, as usual, you press the key button, the power on button just to boot on the machine. So there's the other one, which is for the reboot. So it's the same thing that you have shut it down physically without going into the normal shutdown steps, okay? Uh, like where you, the, your operating system uh, closes all the services, then uh, disconnects the hard drive, okay? So this step you won't go over. It's like uh, you made a suicide, okay? Committed suicide. Uh, or you killed the machine, okay? Because the, you will be losing data and you're an administrator and there is a responsibility on you to keep the things uh, intact. And uh, this kind of reboot, okay, means that you, on the next time the system boots on, uh, there will be like, you'll go to the step of uh, check uh, FSCK, like a Linux, or if you know what's FSCK, it's like checking the file system, okay, for errors. And also, you will be going uh, like if you do it so many times. Okay, this means that you have uh, scratched the hard disk, okay, uh, and hurt it. So you know the hard disks on these servers are not uh, cheap. They are like an at least the f uh, one disk is like for three hundred to four hundred dollars. So it's not easy. Okay, there's a big responsibility. So don't do the commands that I'm gonna show you. Okay, uh, on Smash. Okay. Uh, just uh, understand uh, that you use them if the system hangs, okay? Just if it hangs, uh, the operating system hangs, okay? So, next, first, okay. So the power on, uh, no, I mean, let's do the, uh, as I said, the uh, public key thingy. So I do exit now, so you're out. Now, uh, first you type SSH, key gen okay this is on, uh, on a Linux machine by the way I'm using a Linux machine uh, uh, like uh, uh, they tell you also how to use putty and uh, the like just to create a public key and things like that I'm going to use only the Linux thingy okay and uh, we press enter the key will be saved here but there's another one you will see it it's the public key this is what the one that I'm gonna send uh, and put inside this server okay so I'll press enter I'm gonna save it in this file I'm gonna overwrite and make a new one pass phrase not pass phrase it's not if you want add the one uh, it's not important to me okay but I'm gonna just use it as is now what you're gonna do is uh, cat oh no less okay slash uh, yeah uh, slash home slash oracle this is my folder dot ssh slash let's see there's this rsa pub file so i'm gonna cut it okay and the uh, or just displayed its contents and copy it as is okay look this line this is the highlighted one forget it okay just hide the highlight and copy the file i'm gonna press q just quit the less and then we go to the ilo and go down to administration, go to security, and then uh, we, we select the administrator user. You can add, uh, add another use, other users from uh, the web interface. It's easier, okay? And then uh, authorize a new key, and then you paste it, okay? And then import public key. Now, when I wanted to log in again, okay, to ILO, you can just simply type the com uh, the previous command and it won't ask me for a password okay and that's it cool so now I can just for example mention the command date time okay etc okay now in the next video I'm going to show you how to uh, set up Apache web server in order to uh, boot an ISO image for example contains a Linux uh, distribution you want to install okay maybe the ILO SS, uh, the uh, SPP service pack for ProLiant okay of course you need it so uh, this way we can we can uh, use that SPP to update uh, as much as you want of uh, the ILO uh, software and firmware at once okay and that's it thanks for watching please subscribe tell your friends and like uh, uh, this video Okay, and uh, also uh, 
share it with uh, as much as you can from your friends okay uh, this these are uh, very important videos for all uh, administrators okay bye